<laughs> Don't touch that bike. It's a $2,000 bike. Um, so we have bicycle racks, beautiful bike. And uh, what other features do we have in our kitchen here? Well, we have the lighting control system I see right, up on the wall. Right, we have the motion sensors, the daylighting controls in here. Motion sensors is a real, is required now in right. most of the energy code uh, spaces, which is that when you walk in, you are triggering the lights. It's not light switches. And that allows the lights to go out when it senses that nobody's been moving for a while. And there's some issues about that people have had. You know, what if I, you know, fall asleep at my desk and the lights go out or something? But, okay, what <laughs> other features? These actually have uh, sonic detection as well. Oh. So if you are sitting very still but mm -hmm. talking, then uh, it'll still pick it up and the lights will stay, stay on. Excellent. Okay, what other kinds of features do we have in here? Daylighting. Daylighting. We have another skylight. Okay. And these light fixtures are actually a really great um, sustainability story. They're old traffic lights that have been recycled into pendant lamp fixtures. Wonderful. All of the appliances in the kitchen are Energy Star rated, so that reduces the draw. What is Energy Star? It's a federal rating Energy system? Star is a federal energy program that um, uh, builds incentives to consumers to reduce their draw through their plug loads. Um, all of the cabinetry in the kitchen is agrofiber board, and we just used the uh, raw board. We didn't cover it with anything, They're therefore reducing the amount of materials. But this is another sustainable material. It's 100% recycled and a renewable product because it's an agricultural byproduct. And what's, how about the flooring in here? What is the this flooring floor? in here is a low VOC non-vinyl tile, which is a great product. It's just as cost effective as vinyl, but it has none of the environmental detriment that vinyl sometimes is associated with. We have the recycling center over here in the corner where um, paper, cardboard, glass, aluminum, plastic all gets separated out. Mm -hmm. Is one of these compost here as well? The compost is under. Compost is under. If, I, if I can show some, some of our office secrets, which is, has to do with how we operate, and that is that our compost is down here. Mm -hmm. all, our, all our cleaning products are green certified products. We're running out of space for our bike racks. And uh, slowly, uh, we, we used to be like three riders, now we're four, five, and more, are, uh, more and more people are riding to work. So um, that's one, one of these sort of commitments that we have within our culture, within the office. I also, somebody whispered to me that I should mention regarding the bikes that um, Marvin Johnson, um, one of our senior architects, rides his bike to work every day, and he was recently named City and County of San Francisco Bike Commuter of the Year, and um, each county has a Bike Commuter of the Year, and so we're proud to have Marvin be a part of our office. And I wanted to add one other thing. You know, we have a dishwasher, which is an Energy Star dishwasher, but part of being green is that we're not using paper plates or styrofoam cups in our day-to-day -day operations. No, <laughs> minimal uh, paper towels. And so if you look in the cabinets above, we've got um, lots of bowls and plates and um, regular flatware and all those things. And we run the dishwasher every day because that's better for the environment than making those paper products and Great. oil pro products. Yeah. David had a comment. This is David Green, he's senior electrical inspector with the building department. I just had a, I just had a question on the, on the flooring. I was recently uh, shopping for flooring and I noticed that uh, linoleum products are starting to come back and linoleum uh, was uh, said to be a more natural product and I just was wondering how this relates to linoleum and vinyl. This is not a natural product, but we did use linoleum in lieu of a laminate on all of our countertop surfaces. So you're, you're right, linoleum is What a, is linoleum? Tell linoleum is, is a linseed-based. Press, press linseed, mm -hmm. On a jute backing, I might add, so it's like a double whammy. Okay. Um, one other feature really quickly. Um, the photoluminescent exit signs, because this space has such daylighting capacity, we didn't have to put in any electric um, lighting sign or exit signs in here. We're using the daylight to um, charge the photoluminescent exit on the sign. And the building code allows you to use photoluminescent materials, but there are, like so many things, there are two sides to it all because this is a very toxic waste. So when it comes time to dispose of it, 
you've got to deal with it in a you know toxic waste manner. And that's true with so many things. You know, there's both sides of it. Like when we recently changed from arsenic-based uh, treatment for pressure-treated wood to copper-based treatment. Now we're finding that, gee, it's corroding all the other building materials. We're having structural failures. We've saved something, but we have to look at the, you know, the unintended consequences of everything. Let, I'd like to add that. Oh, here, grab the mic part, there. Mm -hmm. Part of the, the learning about green was dealing with things like these exit signs. So, so Robin and I made a field trip to, down to the, the permit department one day and, and actually presented a, Robin had accumulated a great deal of research on who had used these and where they were installed and how they had been accepted in f because we had anticipated an inspector would come in and say, what's that garbage? And so there's definitely a few battles that still need to be fought for this stuff and, and luckily spaces like this are doing that so things become acceptable. That's right. You guys are or pioneers and we, you know, it takes somebody who has the commitment to do commitment. that, absolutely. When Beverly and her staff were moving to this new space, they were undergoing a big um, branding effort as well. And um, part of their branding is the red cube. And so we took that idea and kind of extruded it into a three-dimensional space as you enter their um, new office. And uh, it was a really kind of a fun, whimsical and in a big space like this with tall ceilings it's very identifiable at, from any point in the office so we're inside the red we're cube inside here. the red cube welcome okay. to beverly Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> that's great and some of the green features in the space are the wood floor that we're standing on is fsc certified so what kind of wood is this do you know this is um i believe chestnut is what mm. we went with ultimately wow. don't see that very often Right. right, and that's the great thing about using wood, and particularly FSC certified wood, is that um, you'll see you'll find species and um, different types of wood that are available through FSC that aren't typically available any other way. And uh, it's this really is one nicely of those laid and finished too. It's beautiful, yeah. And the resin panels that are in here, the translucent panels, are uh, ninety-five percent recycled content. And um, mm -hmm. we use that as well on the reception desk here, oh, uh -huh. the screen panel. And uh, the reception desk has a bamboo surface as well as the guest seating bench 